I've never seen it. All right. <laughs> the sound of the American West. <laughs> Interior, saloon, morning. Sunlight shines through the windows of an empty saloon. The room is quiet, only the sound of shuffling glasses can be heard as the bartender, mid-thirties, mutton chops, dusts behind the bar. A drunk man, 50, also has mutton chops. Everyone in this film has facial hair for some reason. Sits at the counter, unmoving. All right, George, I'm going to need you to get on out of here. Yeah, fuck off. Buddy, you need to go home. You're not the fucking boss of me, and I ain't your buddy. If you want me out of here, you're going to have to get the sheriff. George, you know as well as I do that the sheriff in this town is a huge damn wimp. Just a real big pussy. One of the weakest, ineffectual men that's ever existed. He ain't going to do anything about this. Hell, he ain't going to do anything about any of the problems in this town. The bartender's words are interrupted by the sound of the saloon doors quietly swinging open. He looks over at the door to see who's entered, and his face drops into a look of fear. We hear spurs jangling. The sound of two boots gingerly walking across towards the bartender. That's when we see who it is. A bad man. 30s, all black, full beard, scowling and smoking a cigar. Now, look here, look here, I don't want any trouble. Well, that's too bad, because you got trouble. The bad man takes his cigar out. He holds the, it over a cigar receptacle by the trash and then flicks it purposefully over the bin. <laughs> Come on, man, don't be doing that. Sorry. Ombre. And he really stresses the word ombre in a particular word that really feels racist despite everyone involved being white. But I don't like to follow the rules. I tracked mud into your damn bar and I parked my horse in a loading zone. Oh, God damn it! You got a problem? Why don't you call that sheriff of yours and we'll settle it? You know as well as I do that the sheriff is a goddamn coward. Correct. He's a fucking crybaby. A real wuss. He wouldn't do anything about this. Now I'm asking you nicely to please respect my establishment. Oh yeah? Who's gonna fucking make me? Well, that just <laughs> might have to be me. <laughs> At the sound of another man's voice, the three of them all turn around to see a good man. Mid-30s, dressed in all white, but not like Bee Gees all white. It's more like a sort of dusty off-white, but clearly white enough that a film student can take note of it in an essay. And I did. He's sporting <laughs> stubble, a clear sign that his life is more together than any other man in the room. Oh yeah? And who the hell are you? I have the same question. Shut the hell up. Hey, leave him alone. No, I'm a bad man. A few months ago, I stumbled into this town thinking I'd only stay for a couple days. Then I realized that this was a lawless land where crooks and criminals run rampant through the streets with a reckless abandon that I don't care for. Yeah, that's all because our sheriff sucks. He's a real fucking sissy. Can't do shit. A total yellow belly. Wait, is this is this, is that racist yellow belly? Hmm, I, I don't think so, but I hope so, because, you know, I'm you're, I'm right, 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 you're guy. a bad, bad man, bad yeah. man. Well, if this is a town without law and order, then someone's gotta deliver it. He picks up the cigar off of the floor and carries it over to the cigar receptacle, all while staring the bad man in the face. <laughs> this angers the bad man. Also, I moved your horse down a few feet so it wasn't in the loading zone no more. You son of a bitch. Who do you think you are? Well, if you're the bad man, I'm... Your balance, your equal, <laughs> the polar opposite that cancels you out and brings things back to an even keel, the sort of. The good man's <laughs> monologue is interrupted by the sound of saloon doors opening once again. Everyone in the bar turns around to see Rick, mid-30s, truly awful mustache, dressed in a sickly combination of green and brown with bright white boots, entering the bar, smiling. Well, howdy, fellas. The bartender rolls his eyes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> uh, howdy. And you are... Well, I'm Ugly Rick. The, <laughs> the ugliest damn man in this whole town. Being ugly is just my whole thing. I cut my hair into wacky shapes. I wear clothes that have been dyed to match an infant's diarrhea. And I got these boots from a traveling songstress that died in front of my house. She died because she looked at me and had a heart attack on account of the ugly. Rick walks over to the counter and hops onto a stool. And if you don't mind, you guys, and I don't mind you guys calling me ugly, it's easily the adjective that describes me the most. So I don't take no offense to it or nothing. This is our chicken shit sheriff, Rick. Morning, cream puff. Jellyfish little bitch boy. No, I'm, no, I'm not. These, these guys, they're so playful with me. I'm not a chicken. That's not like, 
I may have been cowardly before, but that's not my thing. I'm ugly. That's how people know me, for being ugly. Well, I know you for being scared of everything in this town. Well, that's a mistake, because I'm not scared of anything. The bad man fake lunges at Sheriff Rick with a fist up, and Rick screams a sustained yelp of terror for a full 15 seconds while clutching his chest. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, you didn't clutch your chest, Dave. Oh, uh, okay, let's Can take we run that back? <laughs> yeah, let's just one more time. <clears throat> oh, good lord. I told you. Namby Pamby. I thought he was going to kill me. Of course you did, you big wuss. I already said that one. Oh, you did? Hmm. The bad man pulls out a thesaurus <laughs> and starts rifling through it. Now look here, you guys have all been mean to me for so long just because I get scared sometimes, and I'm sick of it. You should be nice to me, because I can send you to jail. Well, you should be nice to all people regardless of their power. That's the only way to live in a just society. Well, you sound like a huge nerd. Yeah, I'm generally on your side here, but that was a lame-ass thing to say. Schlemiel. He's a schlemiel. What is that? It means idiot. It's Yiddish, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Never heard it before, which makes sense given how few Jewish people inhabit this year populace. And as a bad man, I obviously support that, but... Boy, does it expose some of my cultural failings at times. Whatever. Look, I'm rebranding from here on out. No more calling me Rick the Coward, or Chicken Rick, or Crybaby Rick, or Lily Liver Rick. From now on, I am Ugly Rick. I'm ugly, goddammit. I'm the ugliest man in the entire fucking town, and nobody can take that away from me. Everybody turns to the bartender, who rolls his eyes and sighs begrudgingly. Okay. Whatever you say, Ugly Rick. Rick smiles warmly, feeling accepted. Thank you. Now can I please get a drink? Sure thing. How about we all just calm down and take a shot? And then we can get back into this whole fight you two were do We can get back into this whole fight you two were doing or whatever. The bartender tosses a shot glass of whiskey down the counter, which startles Rick, who flails wildly and sends it flying into the wall. Oh, jeez. Jesus Christ, man. He sent it too fast. You saw it. He threw it at me. <laughs> and that's the good and bad and the ugly. I'm sure of it. Star Pants Avenue.